Hello and welcome to this week's Productivity Enhancer. I just got a brand new Dell M6700 laptop, and I'm going to install Mastercam on this machine using the Doggle, or also known as the HASP. So the particular HASP that I have is the purple, the USB HASP, and I'm going to assume that most of us understand that the HASP has to be inserted into the USB port at all times when using Mastercam, but it bears repeating. I also received this email which has my Mastercam update code. And the email with the codes, you can see uh, attached, we have four separate codes. Uh, mine is going to be one of those. But first, we need the HASP utility installed on this computer. So in the email, you'll see this link if we have a net HASP or just a regular HASP. Uh, I only have the regular HASP, so I'm going to click on that. It opens up a tab in Chrome, but that's just going to be for download purposes. So here I'm going to save it to my desktop and minimize this window. Minimize the email. And once we get to the desktop, you can see the HASP utility right here. So I'm going to click on it and run it. And there we go. There's the HASP utility. Next, we need to go into that email and go ahead and get the code. So I'll open that email back up. And my code is going to be one of these four. I'm not exactly sure yet. I'm going to have to go back and check with the utility to see which one it opened up with this specific HASP. And it appears to be 150329. So I'll look for that in the attachment. And there it is. So we'll open this file, save it to the desktop again, minimize the email, and run it. You can see you can run it with a few different options. Uh, it just has to be a text reader. It could be Notepad or Microsoft Word. I, however, am just going to use the WordPad. Click OK, and there you go. So let's take a look. First of all, we have our serial number here, which is 150329. Let's make sure it matches, and it does. And let's go down and take a look at what we're given in this uh, document. So we have it's valid between February 19th, 2013 and February 28th, 2014. So I have a year on this particular update code. And here it is. I will copy it, paste it in this space here. And I know that I have to hit update, but just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and read all of the directions. So directions for updating a HASP SIM, uh, if you receive this in an email attachment, which I did, save it as a file, done, run start, done, and verify that the serial number displayed matches. And we've already done that, so now we hit update. You can see here that it is updated successfully, and we can just click OK. And before I close out of this, I just want to take a look, make sure there's nothing I missed. Uh, so it says if you receive this as a printed document, which I didn't, so I don't have to proceed. However, it does walk you through the steps to do the same exact process, only reading the steps from a printed dial. So once that update code is updated successfully, now we have to go to Mastercam. So I'm just going to pull up Chrome here, which is my preferred browser, and you can see that I have the Mastercam download page already selected. So we're just going to go down and find X6 product release, which is right here, 64-bit. I'm also going to save this to my desktop. And this is a really big file, so I won't subject you to the status bar while it downloads. So uh, here we are, directly after the download is finished. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Mastercam download, and that will open up Mastercam X6 in English. Click Yes. Okay, so here it says that Mastercam X6 requires the following items to be installed on your computer. Click Install to begin installing these requirements. I already know for a fact that these Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable packages are already on my machine. I've already double checked that. Uh, however, I'm just gonna go ahead and install them from the install package, which will probably generate some error messages, but we're not gonna worry about it right now. And yeah, here you go. The installation of Microsoft C++, etc., appears to have failed. Do you wanna continue the installation? Uh, since I know it's already on my computer, I'm going to assume that it's okay and just click yes. And here I get the same message only for the 64-bit, and it will continue to install. And here it's telling us that the install shield wizard is going to put Mastercam on the computer. Go ahead and click next. Now you can read this license agreement on your own. I'm just gonna cruise through it and accept it and click next and put in my username and organization. Tanner Knight and SolidBox. Okay, click next. And this is the location where you want that program to be installed. Chances are the program files on your C drive is gonna be where it is, but you can change that if you'd like. Here it gives you the option for SIM type. We have the HASP or the net HASP and inches versus metric. So uh, we're just gonna leave those as is and click next. Okay, so we've skipped ahead a little bit to spare you watching the status bar on this. And then uh, we can see that our little wheel is spinning. So it's thinking 
copying files, and then it gives us this little message to confirm the file replace. A target file exists that's newer than the source, overwrite the newer file. There must be some file on this computer that's conflicting. However, I'm just going to click yes and override it to ensure that it goes through the installation process in the correct order. And there you go. Mastercam X6 is installed. We can click on the icon on the desktop and it will load. And the first thing that you see is the Mastercam customer feedback program. It's always a good idea to participate in these feedback programs, whether it be Mastercam or SolidWorks. It's just an easy way for the programmers to document and fix bugs that happen. So go ahead and click yes, and then you're ready to roll. So most of this may have seemed self-explanatory. However, ensuring that the program is installed correctly on your workstation is a pretty important step. So thanks for watching this week's Productivity Enhancer. Until next time.